what's up guys uh, I'm Mike here um, today I've got a very nice tutorial for you guys I'm going to be teaching you um, how to do twitch in Sony Vegas now you will need one external plugin and that would be uh, active camera for new blue effects and other than that you're pretty much set so I'm going to import a clip here uh, I got it from a subscriber you can see his channel below seven man feed for the Barrett it's a very very nice clip and uh, I'm just gonna start by disabling the resample and uh, I'm checking loop here so we've got our clip and we're just going to drag it out so there's our clip wonderful now uh, we're going to want it to twitch right before he sure shoots his first shot well um let's just say uh, right after he shoots his first shot so uh, let me just zoom in here so we can see it more frame by frame so he gets his first shot off right there and uh, coming out of the scope this is the next frame right here we want to start twitching and we want it to uh, begin uh, as he goes into this scope so that's the third scope so right here so uh, we've got our segment here uh, that we want to make twitch and it's this easy all you want to do is uh, make this one have no color correction and then you can press U on this clip to separate it from its audio track and then press control C or just right click and copy it and then insert th three, I'm going to say three video tracks, it doesn't you want three, so insert three video tracks and then what you want to do is just uh, simply take this, drag it up and make sure the lines up, it lines up well and uh, then you want to paste in the other ones aligned with it now what you want to do is first thing before you do anything is go and change the compositing mode to screen on all of these and uh, I just messed up but yeah you want to go screen on all these and it'll give you this which looks bad but now you want to go to channel blend and we're just going to drag in RGB so red on the first one uh, green on the second one and uh, blue on the third one and that's going to give you black and white so uh, you're asking how in the world how in the world is this uh, RGB. Well, uh, first thing you want to do is for the top one, zoom in at the most. Zoom in like to here. And then for the uh, next one, you want to zoom in. And make sure you're the first frame when doing this. So you're at the start of your clip, or else you're going to have a messed up thing. Second one, just a medium way, I'd say, like there. And then for your third and final one, just crop it in a little bit. And now you've got an RGB split, which looks great. But this is not at all. We need to add some color correction. So the first one I did create is a color curve. You're going to need two of these. So uh, you want to drag these on all of them. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'll show you what it is. So just drag RGB split one on all of them. And uh, here's what it is. It's simple. You don't want RGB. You want to select red. And red's pulled up here. See? Red's up here and down here. Second one's green and green's right here and uh, right here pause the video while you do this and the last one is blue and it's down here and up here and uh, that'll give you your first color correction and then your second one you want to drag on all of them again and this one's easier to do than the last one all you gotta do is go to RGB in total and drag the top one here and the bottom one here and it'll give you a more color corrected look so it's not as bland and um so now you're pretty much set, guys. You've got your clip, and it goes into RGB, but uh, it just it's a bland thing, and there's no movement. There's no twitch in it, so we're going to create that now. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to insert an audio track and drag it above here, because we're going to, uh, first thing we're going to do is import the twitch sound effects. This will be in the pack, which will be uploaded by Sunday, guys. So uh, I got my uh, twitch T, twitch effects. I'm just going to use SFX6. And uh, see how it does that. And then I'm going to copy it, paste it, and I'm going to right click and reverse it. So it gives it like a fade out effect. So. And that one comes a little bit early. But, uh, sorry. Awesome. So that's all right. And that's all sounding great, jolly, and good. But there's no uh, shaking in the Twitch. So what I've done is I've gone into Active Camera and created three, piece pre three presets. And uh, so I just named them RGB split. Actually, I used Earthquake. And the first one's RGB1. And you're going to drag that on the top. So I'm going to do that now. RGB1 is just uh, 199.50. So that's on the top one. 
The second one I did was uh, RGB2. I just named it that, and it's 31 and 89. And the final one, the third one, is 110. And uh, that creates your Twitch effect. So basically what we've got here, guys, is the finished product. Almost the finished product. But uh, I'm just going to render it out real fast for you guys, and you can see how it looks in preview quality. You already saw it, but so it goes like this. And so it gives you a very, this is probably the best Twitch effect simulated I've seen in Vegas. Shaking all around. It's, if it's too rough, guys, modify my settings. Um, you're going to need new blue motion effects for this, the paid version, which I cannot provide. You guys go buy it. And uh, the settings are pretty simple. I showed you those really fast. And this tutorial is running about six minutes, which is really fast for a tutorial like this. But there's a couple finishing touches we need. First thing we want to do is, when it comes back, let's say we want a color correction, because that'll look awesome. That'll be legit. So what we're going to do is just drag on my normal CC. There's a tutorial for this, so I'm not going to show you how it's done. And uh, there you go. So now it'll come in with a bland CC. You could still put like a basic... Uh, let me just drag on my normal CC. You could put in a basic. You don't want a full CC. So I'm just going to put a basic uh, sharpened, unsharpened mask so it's not that bland. Still sharp. And uh, I'm going to go. Now, obviously, guys, I didn't do it exactly well with the twitch that it comes in right after the scope. Like so. And I think that it should probably go out like right around here. You can just adjust that accordingly. And you're pretty much set, guys. I mean, if we render this out, it's looking all right. And you can add music, of course, but for the sake of the sound effects in this tutorial, I'm not going to. But what the shake does is I, I applied three different shakes, which go in random order, so it splits them. And if you want a less intense twitch, all you got to do is tweak these settings and motion effects. And you're pretty much set to go. Now you can shorten this up by just dragging it back and forth. But when you do that, you've got to do it for all three of these. Just keep in mind. And uh, then you're pretty much set, guys. I mean, it's not a hard tutorial to do, and it looks nice. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this has been Mike with Fluffy HD. And once again guys, please comment if you want to know how I get this desktop look. I think it looks wonderful. And uh, sorry for the really late tutorial. I hope it gets out before 12 so I can keep my promise. Bye guys.